Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo, Chapter 6. I spent a lot of time that summer at the Herman W. Block Memorial Library. The Herman W. Block Memorial Library sounds like it would be a big fancy place, but it's not. It's just a little old house full of books, and Mrs. Franny Block is in charge of them all. She's a very small, very old woman with short gray hair, and she was the first friend I made in Naomi. It all started with Winn-Dixie not liking it when I went into the library because he couldn't go inside too. But I showed him how he could stand up on his hind legs and look in the window and see me in there, selecting my books. And he was okay as long as he could see me. But the thing was, the first time Mrs. Franny Block saw Winn-Dixie standing up on his hind legs like that, looking in the window, she didn't think he was a dog. She thought he was a bear. This is what happened. I was picking out my books and kind of humming to myself, and all of a sudden there was this loud and scary scream. I went running up to the front of the library, and there was Miss Franny Block, sitting on the floor behind her desk. Miss Franny, I said, are you all right? A bear, she said. A bear, I asked. He has come back, she said. He has, I asked. Where is he? Out there, she said, and raised a finger and pointed at Winn-Dixie, standing up on his hind legs, looking in the window for me. Miss Franny Block, I said, that's not a bear. That's a dog. That's my dog, Winn-Dixie. Are you positive, she asked. Yes, ma'am, I told her. I'm positive. He's my dog. I would know him anywhere. Miss Franny sat there trembling and shaking. Come on, I said. Let me help you up. It's only, it's okay. I stuck out my hand and Miss Franny took hold of it and I pulled her up off the floor. She didn't weigh hardly anything at all. Once she was standing on her feet, she started acting all embarrassed, saying how I must think she was a silly old lady mistaking a dog for a bear, but that she had a bad experience with a bear coming into the Herman W. Block Memorial Library a long time ago, and she never had quite gotten over it. When did that happen, I asked her. Well, said Miss Franny, it is a very long story. That's okay, I told her. I am like my mama. In that, I like to be told stories. But before you start telling it, can Win dixie come in and listen too? He gets lonely without me. Well, I don't know, said Miss Franny. Dogs are not allowed in the Herman W. Block Memorial Library. He'll be good, I told her. He's a dog who goes to church. And before she could say yes or no, I went outside and got Win dixie He came in and laid down with a humph and a sigh, right at Miss Franny's feet. She looked down at him and said, He most certainly is a large dog. Yes, ma'am, I told her. He has a large heart, too. Well, Miss Franny said, she bent over and gave Winn-Dixie a pat on the head, and Winn-Dixie wagged his tail back and forth and snuffed his nose on her little old lady feet. Let me get a chair and sit down so I can tell you this story properly. And that is the end of Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo, Chapter 6. If you like my channel, you can like and subscribe below.